This is a Game Caviar production. Okay, so not having in the Game Caviar Studios. I'm playing some Kane and Lynch 2 Dog Days on Xbox 360. I have all of the answers to your questions that you guys posted in the last video. Um, to just catch everybody up, I asked uh, the subscribers, the fans, to ask me questions. And I would give them a shout out as well as answer that question in the next video. So, to keep up my side of the deal, I'm going to have shout out and answer time. If I, I'm going to apologize ahead of time if I screw you guys' names up. The way that I printed this out, I'm reading it off of paper. It, uh, it's kind of hard to make out exactly everybody's names, but I think I'll be all right. But anyway, let's dive right into it. First question from I am the attacks mortal. I am the attacks mortal. Yeah. We all know that Black Ops 2 is probably not going to be a good game. But are you going to make gameplay commentaries on it? The simple answer is yes. Uh, a longer in-depth answer is because when I created Game Caviar, it was so that we could showcase the popular games, the unpopular games, no matter what our personal preference is on the game. Now, if Black Ops 2 sucks, and um, I, I truly believe that it sucks, I'm going to make a video and I'm going to say it sucks. I mean, that's just what I'm going to do. It's not going to stop me from making videos of that game. But yes, I will make Black Ops 2 videos. Uh, let's see here. Fame X represent. I guess that's maybe that's just fame represent. Okay. When it comes to Battlefield and Call of Duty, which do you prefer more and why? Uh, I prefer Battlefield because it's more it's, it's realistic and they have more of an in-depth online first-person shooter experience. Uh... They also ask, also, what company do you think is better when it comes to Call of Duty, Treyarch or uh, Infinity Ward? Uh, Treyarch uh, is definitely better than Infinity Ward. Treyarch actually, I, they either they really try to make a good game, or they really, or they're really good at putting up an illusion to make us think they try hard. To me, Infinity Ward just doesn't care. They don't give a shit. They're gonna put a game out there. And they, they, they're not going to support it. They're going to say they're fixing stuff. But ever since Modern Warfare 3 has come came out, it's still just as broken as it was when it first was released. So I would say that Treyarch is definitely the better of those two companies. Let's see here. Uh, Binary1123. What are you more excited for? Battlefield 4 or Black Ops 2? Also, what would you prefer? A Modern Warfare 4 and or... Battlefield Bad Company 3 instead of uh, Battlefield 4 or Black Ops 2. Uh, I'm more excited for Battlefield 4 just because of I've seen how uh, the Battlefield series has progressed from Battlefield Bad Company 2 to Battlefield 3. So now I want to see how Battlefield 4 is going to look and how it's going to play, what the storyline is, especially the multiplayer and online. I think that Battlefield is finally able to take that next step to be head-to-head -head with Call of Duty. Sales-wise and popularity-wise, they've already got it down technically to where they're better. Um, and I would definitely, uh, I, I definitely would look forward to anything Battlefield over Call of Duty right now. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I'm running out of time. Uh, let me see here. Uh, Deadly Assassin 222 Body Wash or Bar Soap? Body Wash, dude. It's awesome. Let me see. Uh, John Ripper 100. This is a good question. Why would EA already, um, already, I guess, be talking about Battlefield 4 when Medal of Honor Warfighter hasn't come out yet? I think it got leaked and EA kind of, uh, said, you know, screw it. It's out there. Let's just talk about it. I don't think you really hear that much about it before. Modern, I mean, uh, not Modern Warfare, Medal of Honor comes out because they don't want to overshadow that game. Let's see here. Let's see. Uh, what is this? Lanesky69, do you have an Xbox? If so, can you tell me your gamer tag? Uh, my gamer tag on Xbox is not having it. Uh, let's see here. The Alcatraz Crisis. Why? Would you make some Crisis 2 gameplays? I have made Crisis 2 gameplays before when a game first came out. I don't have the game anymore, but if you look back in my history, I do have some Crisis 2 gameplays, and that game is amazing. 
313 Stevie B, big shout out to him. Uh, where did you get your username? I wanted to come up with something that was um, unique and that something that was nothing like anybody else had. And I remember one day I was just sitting around and I was thinking about it real hard, but I went away and did something. And then I was, something happened. And then I was like, just out of nowhere, I was like, man, I'm not having that. Then I was like, hmm, I'm not having it. I'm not having it. And I just ran with it. Pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. Splutterfish Gaming. Are you excited for Medal of Honor, Warfighter? Uh, I think I'm supposed to say, or Black Ops 2. And what state do you live in? Do you like Jamba Juice? I've never had Jamba Juice. I live in Georgia. And are you... I'm more excited for uh, Metal of Honor Warfighter. Because it's going to be awesome. Let's see here. Uh, Mr. Right? Too Smart? <laughs> uh, what game do you think will mostly die first? This includes all first-person shooters to date. And what first-person shooter series do you think will pass and be the biggest? Um, I think it's really going to come down to Call of Duty and Battlefield. I don't really see either one of those going away anytime soon. Uh, I don't think that uh, it's going to be... Um, I don't think there's going to be one definite winner. But I do think other first-person shooters like Killzone are going to hang in there. Halo is definitely going to hang in there. Uh, let's see. Uh, first-person shooters, man. I mean, they come and go. I believe Medal of Honor will stay as long as they have the same amount of fans and support that it has now. Uh, if Homefront, the next Homefront game doesn't sell well, I believe that's going to go away. But mainly the games that I think are going to survive are the ones that have the biggest foundation on, and are deep-rooted into the gaming industry and have really put their feet or put their roots into the ground. Call of Duty, Battlefield, uh, Metal of Honor, just off the name alone, and the games that it did in the past, I think that it has a valid reason to stay put. And um, Halo, of course, and on PlayStation, Killzone, definitely. I think those are the games that will really stick around. Um, but any game that has a small market or just starting off, is if it doesn't do good, especially in today's gaming uh, environment is going to go away so that's it guys that's all the questions that I have if you guys want to hit me up with some more questions please do so I don't mind interacting with you guys uh, and I look forward to it like this video comment spread the word press the share button share it on Twitter and Facebook thank you guys I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studios and I'm out this has been a Game Caviar production like this video and subscribe for more